Hello everyone, welcome to the Software Coding Tutorials channel. My name is Tommy and today I will be discussing about a, uh, the designing of um, your own programming language or interpreter. Um, so this is just like a brief overview of how you can create your own programming language or interpreter. Uh, an example of uh, the interpreters um, out in the world are Perl, Python, Ruby, PHP, um, Microsoft GW Basics, etc. So this is an old one I listed here, but uh, many years ago, Microsoft uh, included this interpreter in every operating system in DOS. And uh, uh, so, what is an interpreter? Um, in computer science, an interpreter is a computer program that directly executes instruction written in a programming or scripting language without requiring them previously to have been compiled into a machine language program. And so you can find this definition on Wikipedia. Um, and a programming language uh, is divided into two parts. Uh, we have the parser and the interpreter. And in the parser, we have the lexical analysis. Uh, this is often known as the scanner, tokenizer, or lexer. And the first step is to break down the sentences into uh, tokens. Then it will analyze the tokens against a set of rule, rules, or we call grammar, and make sure that they are valid. And if they are not valid, then the parser should uh, report the errors and then exit the program gracefully. Uh, on the interpreter side, uh, the interpreter just takes the emitted code and executes it um, after it has been validated from the parser. Okay, so let's look at the, uh, our interpreted design flowchart diagram. And let me zoom in for you to, um, for you to see it well. So um, as you can see here, um, uh, from start, we load the program or script, and um, we break the uh, sentences down to tokens. So this is what we call tokenizing the string, right? And um, this is, of course, part of the scanner or lexical analysis. And then after we um, break it into tokens, um, it's then we pass information to the parser. And the parser's job is to analyze and make sure the tokens are valid. And if it uh, has issues, it's going to report the error and then exit the program. And if uh, you can see that if uh, it passes the checks and validation, then um, it passes the code to the interpreter. And the interpreter's job is to um, execute the program from beginning to end. Okay, so um, what are the available tools to build an interpreter? Um, you can go through these link here. There's uh, Bison and Yak. These are pretty old, uh, probably about 30 years or more. Um, and then you have Antler. Uh, this is pretty new, um, uh, written by, I think, Terence Parr, uh, uh, a professor in... Um, University of California, San Francisco, I believe. Um, and there are more tools, but I will not list them here. And if you don't use these tools, you can roll your own by, uh, and you can actually hand write, written your uh, interpreter from scratch if you're uh, good at doing so. So I think what that's what I've chosen to do was to roll my own, basically. I didn't use any of these tools that's available. Okay, so um, in designing my uh, programming language, uh, these are the features that are being supported. Uh, so these are the tokens or keywords that is recognizable 
by the interpreter. So you have supported operators like plus, minus, star, divide, power, and the operator can also be used to concatenate string. And here's the relational operators, uh, similar to C, C++. And the common operators are similar to C and C++. Uh, and here's the logical operators, ands and or. I have not supported the not sign yet. Um, for example, these keywords here uh, allow you to set um, or assign a numerical or string value to a string or numerical variable. Uh, gets allows you to uh, get the standard input from the keyboard. Then here is printf, uh, which is similar to the C function uh, to print the result to standard output. F printf uh, allows you to write data to a file. And here are the control statements while for if else switch case break and return. So this is allow you to control um, your your program basically. Um, F open, F close allow you to open or close a file, both text or binary mode. And here is the supported data types: integer, double, string, or array. And then we have um, return, which I already talked about. Hash uh, keyword, which allow you to create uh, an associative array which stores key and value pairs. Then you can also do a string manipulation using substring, which allows you to extract a substring from a string given start position and an offset value. Then here are the two or three functions that support um, you know, strings. So um, string compare, string string, um, and length to measure the length of a string. And then the last keyword is like the size of which uh, gets the element count of an array. So I have more to come but this is just a uh, small list that uh, I'm currently supporting. Okay so let's go to the next slide um, and this is where um, I'm going to be demonstrating the language execution or features. Um, so I'll have a, a couple of screenshots or to show um, how the program get it executed and interpreted. So here is a uh, typical script uh, for the programming language I've written. So in Unix or in Mac OS you can declare use local bin TPL. And here for example uh, to set a value uh, you, you would need to set A and then whatever the uh, expression you have in NA and that's of course separate from um, string operation so A denotes um, for a numerical um, calculation right and then here's printf you can print out uh, the value of A afterward uh, here's a comment right so here's an example uh, you can comment this way like in C or C++ and then here is expecting a an input from the keyboard, right? From standard input, and then here it prints out the output, right? And here is accepting a string from the keyboard or standard uh, input. And here is a nested. Um, you can create um, sort of like a multi-line um, comment, like doing so. And here is a function that accepts two value a and b and returns the uh, addition of those two values. And here's another function um, that does a sum. So um, when it accepts a number, then it loops through and calculates the sum of that number. So I'll demonstrate you for you from the terminal. So the file is called test1.tpl so you can just type in test1.tpl oops and I have an issue okay so what's the issue there so it looks like uh, I might have dropped a parenthesis here so you can see that there are um, checks in place 
So it looks like I have a uh, missing a parent uh, parenthesis here, and let's do a uh, let's do save and then clear, and and you can see that uh, um, it is executing. You know, at 10 plus 15, 25, there's a summation, and here's uh, the sum value that's returned back. And A finally becomes 760.5. And so I can enter a value, let's, let's say 95, let's say it's 95. It asks me to enter a string, and I enter, okay, this is a long long string right and it returns back the string is this is a long long string okay so that's um, show you some of the feature in the scripting language I developed okay some of you have um, watched my previous video where um, I did a hex to uh, decimal back uh, decimal, decimal back to hexadecimal and um, using the C++ algorithm. So here, uh, this is a um, the same, you know, the same functionality written in my own uh, language that I develop. So you can see here, um, two hex version allow me to store the hash. So basically, a hash is the key and value pair, and um, you know, pretty much conversion, uh, converting, divided down, taking the modulus. Oh, I forgot to mention that we, we do have the ability to co compute the modulus or modulus um, and then get the remainder. And uh, here is a function to calculate power based on, uh, you know, base and then power of n. And here's a function that converts the hex string uh, back to decimal, right? So using substring and hash table, and here's a reverse string. You can reverse, uh, you know, using um, this is just algorithm basically. So uh, with no further ado, I can execute it for you to see this. So just type in 2x.tpl, and you can see that it's actually converting very fast. Uh, let me in, you know, so um, here's a decimal value. Here's a sec, uh, the actual hex uh, string, and then back to the actual decimal value. So um, this is something I developed for a while now, and so because I'm not using um, any framework to to create this language. And initially, it was just for fun, and then I just developed to a full um, language. Um, so, well, I hope you enjoy this uh, demonstration of um, how you can actually create your own programming language. And, uh, you know, if you don't like what you program in, you can always roll your own. So, um, for fun, basically. So, uh, I hope you enjoy this video. and. Uh, Hope you subscribe to my channel and support me for um, uh, my cause. So thank you very much for watching. See you next time.